Night with a true tragedy. A wife, a community, and a church family is mourning the loss of a valley man shot and killed while sleeping soundly in his own apartment. We brought this to you as breaking news this morning when 27 year old Andrew Gilliam was shot at Sun Lake at Edgewater Apartments in Huntsville. Tonight, we were there as his church family grieved this immense loss. WAFF 48's Romario Gardner is live in front of Decatur Baptist Church where members who knew Andrew came together tonight to pray for him and his family. Romario, his pastor told you Andrew touched so many lives. Margo, if there was one word that he could use to describe Andrew, he says it would be outstanding. Now the prayer service here at Bap Decatur Baptist usually lasts one hour. The people stayed here tonight well over two hours. That's the kind of impact that Andrew had on his community. We don't have answers and don't necessarily need answers. We, we need God. The entire congregation at Decatur Baptist Church is devastated following the death of 27-year-old Andrew Gilliam. Members united to pray for him and his loved ones. God, I'm not praying this for me tonight. I'm praying this for all the family. Andrew was shot at 3 in the morning while sleeping in his apartment, Sun Lake at Edgewater in Huntsville. Two other units were shot into, but no one was injured. Andrew was rushed to the hospital in critical condition, but later died. His pastor, Joe McKegg, says the entire community is at a loss for words. Uh, it was incomprehensible. Uh, so my heart broke for his wife. Uh, for his parents, for his brother, for his grandmother. McKegg says Andrew was a shining star. He was an aerospace engineer and graduated from the University of Alabama. He worked for a contractor with NASA and even sat on the console for the Artemis One mission. McKegg says Andrew put his faith first in his life. He, uh, he lived that kind of a life. He lived his life to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. McKegg says Andrew started a new ministry for young couples with his wife, Robin. The two recently married in 2021 and were going to reach their two year anniversary next month. Pastor says he knows this isn't the last time he'll see Andrew. Uh, we sorrow, but we don't sorrow as those who have no hope. And I look forward to a day when we will be reunited together for all of eternity. The Huntsville police have not identified a suspect in this case, but we'll be sure to continue this investigation while prayers continue. Live Indicator, I'm Ramario Gardner, 48 on your side.